So why do so many non-residents buy off-plan property here in Dubai real estate? Well, I will explain to you exactly why, because I'm getting a lot of you private message me about the differences of ready property versus off-plan property. And really, it all comes down to one thing, and that is cash flow. It comes down to how much money you have available to purchase a property right now. Because most people that are approaching me want to get on the property ladder here in Dubai, whether it's an apartment. Um, I sell over 2 million dirham only, so it's an apartment. Uh, one bedroom's around about 2.5 million usually. Uh, these are the nice one bedrooms, you know, beach, waterfront. Uh, townhouses or villas. So if you want to buy anything in Dubai that's ready, there are no payment plans for you as a non-resident because you are not able to get a mortgage. Banks will not lend to somebody that is not proven here earning a salary and been in Dubai for at least three to 12 months, depending on the nature of your work. If you're entrepreneur, self-employed, it's more like two years. If you're here with a top you know, global corporate company, then you may be able to get a mortgage after only being here three months. So it all is dependent on your situation. So as a non-resident, you wanna move here with a family, you're gonna have to pay rent for a year or two, uh, but you don't wanna keep paying rent forever because the rent is high here and it keeps going up. So a lot of my clients are like, yeah, let me get there first, let me settle down, then we'll have a look at buying Lucy. And then literally I get a call within eight weeks of them being here saying, oh my goodness, this rental market is crazy expensive. We need to be buying a property as soon as possible. What have you got? And that is where you then realize that you can't yet get a mortgage because you're brand new in the city. Um, for the You can't get a mortgage. You want to buy a detached home and detached villas, if you're lucky, and I mean lucky, will start from about five, five and a half million dirham. I'm not talking townhouse. I'm talking fully detached villa. And that's a cheap fully detached villa. Really, you need to have about seven and a half to eight million dirham these days. So then you can't get a mortgage. You can't buy that ready villa. So then you're like, okay, I'll rent a property for a couple of years, uh, but we do want to buy something. And then what do you look at? You look at the launches. You look at a property that is already owned by a private owner, but it's not yet ready. And we call this off plan resell because essentially it is not yet ready. The current owner is paying into a payment plan until it is handing over and they are reselling it onto you. So you're a secondary buyer on a property that is for resale. However, it's brand new and it's not yet ready. So if you're watching this video and wondering, do I buy a property that's ready or do I have to wait? The answer is completely up to your cash flow. I mean, at the end of the day, money talks, right? So that's where it all comes down to. But what I will say is the appreciation, the growth in Dubai real estate market is absolutely going crazy at the moment. So it's better to just get on the ladder, buy a townhouse or a villa as quickly as you can now. And even if you change your mind in two years and decide we want to buy something in a different area, we want something bigger, uh, maybe we want to change you know, the kids' schools and we don't want to be in that area, you'll do well because of capital appreciation. Because townhouses and villas, we are in short, short supply. Apartments, we have many, many, many. And everybody's buying apartments for short-term rental. So whilst it's still very good for returns in short-term rentals, you know, if you want to buy something that will never lose its value, think very carefully about townhouses and villas. Now, the next part of this video is what exactly is off plan? How does it work? So if you were to buy a villa or a townhouse from a developer, then on launch day, you have to put down 20% and then plus, for buying property in Dubai, you always have a 4% stamp duty. We call this the DLD fee, okay? After that, your property goes on to a payment plan, whether it's over three years, uh, maybe two years, if it's you know being constructed really quickly. So it's usually two to three years as a build, especially if you're buying townhouses and villas. If you're buying apartments, there may even be a four-year build. Um, but again, it depends which developer, and I don't sell like the developers that are very poor quality. Uh, so any developers I'm selling is usually always completed within three years. Okay. Now, the next thing is that we obviously decide you want a villa. We decide we've, you've got the budget for say 8 million dirham, but there is nothing anywhere for sale. And you don't want to buy something, um, you know, all the launches sold out. You don't want to buy ready. 
Now what do you do? So this is where together, you and I, we decide what you want, where you want it, and we go on to the secondary market. So now essentially, you're buying a property that is already launched, completely sold out, an owner has bought it, and they are now deciding to resell it onto you. So there are two payments that you're gonna have to pay. You're gonna have to pay the profit they want between what they bought it for and what they're selling, because of course everybody wants to make some money. And the second thing is you will have to pay them back what they've already paid to the developer. So you pay them back the, the payment plan that they've already paid, actually paid. So imagine they're on a 40, 60 payment plan and they've paid uh, 40% and they've still got 60% to go. So you would pay them back the 40, you would pay them their profit, then there's other fees, and then you take over ownership and you are the new owner and you now go on to the rest of the payment that they still had on their contract with the developer. And all of those payments that you go on to to start paying are always off the original price, they're not off the new price. Because essentially, you've already paid for that new price hike in the profit to the owner. Now, if all of this sounds a bit gobbledygook, you're confused, it's too fast, it's not clear, I hope it is, then of course you always have at the bottom of this video here my, my WhatsApp number, a um, bit of uh, information about who I am, and I'm a registered real estate uh, agency agent here and agency in Dubai for the last 10 years, and I would absolutely love to help you with your next purchase. So, if you are um, a cash buyer, then you don't need to worry about you know the cash flow so much. You can come out and just buy a ready property, and I also have those for you as well. And I sell properties up to 100, 200 million dirham, but starting from 2 million dirham. So thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Thank you to all of those that follow me from around the world. I really appreciate you. Uh, je parle le français, merci beaucoup. Uh, hablo espanol, gracias. So I speak languages if you want to speak in your own language there. Um, and press the little bell here on the bottom, which means you get notifications every time a new video of mine comes out. And remember, anyone can purchase in Dubai, no matter where you're from on the planet. I'm also a homeowner here. I'm a real estate agent of 10 years, 18 in the industry, um, and I would love to help you with your next real estate acquisition. Take care, God bless, see you soon, bye-bye.